Who here doesn't know the secret of used or damaged batteries? Because it turns out, there's a big secret that few people know about this small item that we often throw away. You might not expect it, but behind those seemingly useless used batteries, there's incredible potential that can be reused in a very simple yet impressive way. Okay, here's a used battery that we'll carefully disassemble. First, we'll remove the outer layer. Don't underestimate this, because underneath this battery's outer layer lies something interesting you might not have seen before. Now, I'm going to slowly start opening this battery. This process must be done very carefully to avoid damaging the internal components, as this used battery contains important components that we'll be using later. As the outer layer begins to peel back, you'll see some interesting structures inside the battery that you may not have noticed before. And this is the most exciting part, because this is where we will find something truly surprising. Something that has been hidden inside used batteries that we often think are useless. Well, here we're starting to see the inner shell, and now I'm going to slowly open it. As you can see, the layers inside this battery are very unique and different from what we imagined. The process of opening it must be slow, so we can clearly see what's hidden inside. Now I'm going to open the top of the battery, and this is where the crucial part I'll be removing lies. This process requires precision, as the top of the battery houses a small component with a powerful function. Look closely. I'll slowly open the cover, and a small metal part that often goes unnoticed begins to appear. After removing the insides, I'll now proceed to cut open the inside of this battery. This is where the process gets interesting, because when you cut it open, you can see for yourself how the layers inside this battery are arranged so neatly and uniquely. Each part actually plays a crucial role that we've never realized. I'll slowly open each one, and you'll be surprised to see what's hidden beneath. This is where the biggest secret of this used battery begins to be revealed. Something you've probably never seen before. Now, I'll show you the contents of the battery I removed earlier, and this is the part I'll be using for my next experiment. Take a closer look. The shape and color look so unique, don't they? Who would have thought that this small, often overlooked part holds such incredible potential? Now I'll move on to connecting the cables, and here I'll use solder to make the connection stronger and neater. This connection process is crucial, because if done correctly, the electrical flow will flow smoothly and without interruption. Now, here's the result of the cables I connected earlier. You can see for yourself. The connection looks neat and strong, thanks to the solder we used earlier. All the parts are perfectly assembled. Now I'll continue connecting the cables to the battery casing we cut earlier. This is a crucial step, as the battery casing can still conduct electricity quite well, if connected correctly.
Now, here I'll show you the results of the cable connection to the battery shell that I just made. As you can see, the connection looks neat and strong, and all the parts are firmly attached thanks to the solder we used. Now, I've prepared the container I'll use to fill the sand. It needs to be sturdy and secure enough so the sand can fit neatly without spilling. Now I'll start filling the sand into the bottle I prepared earlier. Note that I'm going slowly to ensure the sand goes in neatly and doesn't spill out. This bottle will be the main container for our experiment, and the combination of the sand and the connected used battery components will produce some interesting results. Every grain of sand that goes into this setup makes it even more perfect. And soon you'll see how all the steps we took from the beginning, from opening the battery to connecting the cables, can ultimately result in something truly surprising and creative. After the sand is completely filled into the bottle, now I will proceed to the next stage. Now that I've prepared the water, the next step is to mix it with salt. This water and salt mixture will act as an electrical conductor, working with the sand and used battery components we've prepared. Notice that I slowly pour the salt into the water while stirring until it dissolves completely for maximum results. This is a crucial step because this simple combination will show the incredible potential of objects we usually consider useless. Now we're down to the final moments. Here, I'll place the outer part of the battery we connected earlier into the sand we filled earlier. Pay close attention, as this is the most crucial moment of the entire experiment. Now I'm going to install each component one by one into the sand. This process must be done carefully so that all the parts adhere perfectly. Now I'll slowly add the salt water to the sand until it's evenly distributed. Be careful to pour it in little by little so that all the sand is evenly submerged and doesn't spill out. This mixture will act as an electrical conductor, connecting all the battery components we've installed in the sand. Now I'm going to install the light bulb and connect it to the circuit we've prepared in the sand. Pay close attention. The connection must be precise so that the electric current can flow from the used battery through the salt water sand to the light bulb. Wow, the lights are on perfectly. You can see for yourself. And look, the lights are on perfectly.